gentlemen, welcome back to this, another episode of the Happy No Fear podcast. I'm your host, as always, Chase, recording from uh, my studio in Los Angeles. On this week's episode, we have uh, a painter, illustrator, and overall really good dude, my friend, Schlinton. We're here, man. Welcome to the studio. Well, hello there. Good to see you, my man. Sweet. Likewise. 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 I'm oh. going to double record this because every once in a while, uh, Sean's not here with us today. What? So I'm just going to back it up. But shouts to Mole Man. All right. All right. You, you just got a COVID tested yesterday. I did. No, no. It was the day before. Or day um, before. Yeah, yeah. Because I had to be on set for this, um, this TV show. I don't even know. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it because it's not even like out yet. So right. I'll just leave it at that. Is it an existing show or no, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a brand new show? It's a new show. Is it Netflix at least? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you said I, I couldn't uh, tell you. That, that's cool. So th- that's very exciting to hear, though, because a, a lot of uh, production is shut down. Yeah. Uh, or just like very minimal, like two man, you know, setups would have. Well, there was there's definitely a good amount of people um, there yesterday. Yeah. And then I'm going back uh, Friday. There's gonna be some people on tomorrow. Excellent. And what are you doing? What are you doing for them? Uh, art department, just like nice. building shit, cool shit. That's cool. Yeah, I, I, uh, that's how I kind of got started a long time ago too, uh, like assisting scenics. Yeah. You know, fun stuff because for some it. reason scenics know all, all the tricks. You know, all, all the washes, you know, how to age something, how to make it look as if it is. But when in all actuality, you just spend like an hour on it. You yeah. know what I mean? I love that. I, 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 I am a really big fan of that because like I've just working with the people I work with, I've learned so much. Right. And it's like always kind of like, no matter how busy like I get, like it's always a fun thing to just be like, yeah, fuck yeah, I'm going to try out some new shit. Hell yeah. See what's what, meet some cool new people. Um, and plus, like I'm even more excited to try to do stuff because... With the whole quarantine situation, like, it's not, I mean, I, it's, like, harder to get out, because, like, usually, right. like, I've always been, like, kind of homebody-ish, whereas, like, I work from home during the daytime, and then I would go out in the evening and, like, you know, see my friends and meet new people and all that shit, but now it's just all... Oh, it's been locked down. It's all locked down, so there's no, like, real, like... Yeah, we, was, time. we were just talking earlier, like, I, I've been taking it pretty serious. Like, I really haven't seen anyone. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've seen a few people. But not like, you know, and I, I drive past a party or something. I'm like, man, you guys. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Just to, just to err, err on the safe side, ridiculous, you know? Yeah. I Yo, mean. We, I did this uh, photo shoot for this um, clothing brand collaboration like maybe a week or so ago. Mm-hmm. And they're like, we got to get some shots at the beach. And me thinking like everybody else is kind of having the same like mindset. I'm thinking like, okay, well. There probably won't be too many people there. I'm thinking like, because um, when everything was in shutdown, like I'd wrote, I had ridden my bike a few times down the same bike path, and there wasn't like hardly anybody outside. And so I was thinking it was gonna be the same thing. Fuck that! Like I get there, it's oh, like Fourth of July man. weekend. There's people like I was watching. This these was people. Fourth, fourth of July. I think or like close to it, or like right before. Yeah. It was, I think it was like right yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I see like right as soon as we get over the hump to the sand like there's just people like partying and yeah, drinking yeah, yeah, and yeah, playing yeah, volleyball yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I watched this like little group of friends that were like passing a joint and I was like uh, you guys are dumb uh, yeah cause that's saliva you know yeah. on, on, I mean it's it's, 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 it's it's on a smaller scale smaller level but that's like Still. direct contact like oh, that's yeah. ooh la la and it was like wow yeah and even while we're doing the, the shoot we're like yeah not really talking to each other and Ugh. like mask on in between like fucking shots and shit man it's 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 crazy because uh, you know dr fauci lied you know that's the problem with him you uh-huh. know there's you know in the beginning when there was a shortage of masks for yeah. uh, the medical uh staffing he said please do not wear a mask they're ineffective they don't work <laughs> right and then uh, a few weeks after that, he said, well, everyone's, you know, it's mandated to wear a mask. Now the governor stepped into place and now it's very important to wear a mask. And it sort of came out that he said what he said because he wanted to make sure that, that the nurses and the doctors got their masks. Yeah. Right. Which is very Makes good sense. to do, but don't lie to us yeah. because you, 
you know, you're still a doctor, but now you're also a politician. And if you lie once, it's going to be very hard for us to trust you again. Yeah. And you so <laughs> it's crazy. <sighs> I have a lot of friends. They're like, man, don't buy the hype. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> don't do it. Don't, you know, don't, you know, it's all, it's all, it's all about something else. And I'm like, I listen to it because I, I like information that I'm not used to or that I necessarily don't come across all the time. But, you know, even, even if that's the case, we, yeah. we, we still got to err on the side of caution. That's where I'm And wear these fucking it. masks, you know? Yeah, I'm like, I get it. I'm like, I'm usually the first one there with you. Right. And being like, yeah, man, I don't believe, like, I still don't trust shit. But yeah. at the same time, I'm like, you know, like you said, err on the side of caution. Like, I'd much rather, like, have it and not need it than need it and not, you know? Exactly, yeah. And, and, and it just, yeah, it's, it's, it's all still weird. Um, you know, the, the, you know, the, the garbled numbers and stuff, just some states, you know, lying about, you know, I mean, it was a joke going around if you got bit by a shark and, but, you know, had a COVID symptom, then they would a- attribute it to a COVID death. Yeah, I heard Like I that heard sort of, that. of stuff. And, yeah. and so, and then different states and hospitals, you know, sort of, you know, when, when someone's been, you know, had pancreatic cancer for the last five years struggling for their lives yeah. and then they get pneumonia, then all of a sudden it's a COVID death. Yeah. You see, and that I just... That's pretty fucked. But that's really also going on. Yeah, totally. And so it's at the end of the day, like, I, I trust that it's going on. I know that it's going on. I know yeah. people that are affected, you know, and it's it's worldwide. And, and uh, But still, err on the side of caution. Let's do it right. Let's not be out there partying and acting a fool uh, sharing blunts. <laughs> <You know? laughs> at least not for now. That shit blew my mind. It's bananas. I was just like, wow. That's, you really that's don't give a fuck. Yeah. That's like, hard, yeah. <laughs> I just thought that was some next level... Not even just like I'm gonna go to this place yeah. and like try to stay to just like it's like well you just yeah. nobody in this group gives a fuck give a fuck and, and like, okay. if, if you're like under 24 or something I can see how that could be because I would be that way if if I'm 19 I'm skating everything right now I'm like wow there's no one around no one wants to even approach me because of because of COVID I'm skating everything with my friends. I'm drinking 40s in the street. I'm passing blunts like there's no tomorrow. Dude, when everything was in immediate shutdown, that's all I saw was a, was a ton of skaters right. just like fucking chilling. And it's a was paradise like, out It there. made sense because it was like there's nobody right. on the street. Right. There's nobody like bust you because nobody's like paying attention to skateboarders. Right. It's not worth it to the, 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 the security guard to come out there and like, you know, get there's breathed on by like 10 kids. There's yeah. nobody there. So right. it's just like fucking go skate. But like everybody I saw that was skating, it was like, I never saw a group bigger than like three. Right. There's like a filmer, there's somebody right. skating, and there's somebody like waiting their turn to fucking right. do their shit. Yeah. And, so, yeah. You know, it was very low key. Like, it, just, I miss seeing the clear skies of Los Angeles, though, I could tell you that. Yeah, right. Yeah, but, like, for whatever, I mean, it was way worse in the 80s, I guess, you know? Yeah. Uh, the smog? The smog, yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't know. You know, I, I, I lived here in the 80s for like a minute. Uh, and I really kind of don't know, notice the smog that much. Yeah. But I guess I do notice that like everything's cleared up now because of no, you know, uh, uh, automobile traffic and stuff. Yeah. I mean, it it, <clears throat> it was um, there was less. I mean, it's less now than it was, you know, previous. Right. But when there was no traffic. Right. I could look over from my rooftop and see the mountains. I was like, fuck! I didn't even know we were that. Like you know, you kind of forget. Right. Like oh, they're fuck. right there always. Yeah. There's there's nature. We're fully like surrounded yeah. by nature still. Yeah, that's like, crazy about living in LA. Like, because a lot of people like from around the world think like, oh, LA is just like you know uh, beaches and like palm trees yeah. and like seventy two and sunny, but like they don't know you can drive like forty five minutes and be in the mountains snowboarding. Oh, for real. Most of the year, even. Totally. I mean, not maybe not most of the year, but uh, at a least half of, of the year. Yeah. yeah. And then we got we, we got we got the forest, you know, the Ange- Angeles National Mountains. Like we got all this good stuff here, man. And unfortunately, everyone that made the move here now, seemingly we talked about that before. Yeah, it seems like they're really gonna like go back to it's wherever they came out. from. <laughs> it's fizzling out. Well, I mean, like, <clears throat> I think the first fuck like week or so, it's been all like. Um, I see more people moving out than I see people moving in. That's that's for sure. Yeah. I see a shit ton of people moving out, but yeah. also I know um, a few friends of mine who just moved into new spots and they've been getting like crazy deals, like right. moving specials. Yeah, they're like, please, <laughs> please yeah. stay. We gotta keep our number. First, here. last, and 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 most months for free. Yeah, but but you gotta move in this week. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I think a, a good friend of mine he got like um, like 
almost half the year, like half off. No shit. Like some crazy wow. shit. I love that, man. I don't know what the exact deal was, but it was uh, something like, I was uh, like, fuck. Uh, uh, and then I thought to myself, there's no way in fuck you would have got that deal with all, like, oh, all this man. going on. That's, 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 that's but for I'm sure. But also like fucking good for you. That's fucking tight. Yeah, man. this is the time, you know, like. And maybe it's a good thing. I mean, we're selfishly now speaking for who, who, whomever's li- listening to the, from the L.A. perspective, where I guess now it's like kind of like the epicenter. Oh, yeah. World. Like L.A. County is like, mm-hmm. this is like, it's pretty bad over here, apparently. Um, so, um, yeah. But let's talk about art, man. I, 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 I know an interesting fact about you, which I think <laughs> is so fucking dope, that you actually got started... Uh, doodling in your Bible at Bible study. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I was, um, a lot of my art was like escapist shit. It's just like anytime I was like someplace I didn't want to be, or even the places I did want to be, but I got in trouble a lot when I was a kid. Yeah. It's like, go to your room. And then I was like, you got to be in there for like an hour, maybe two hours, yeah. some shit like that, depending on like what I had done. And I'm like, hmm. I had this, uh, I had this like really grainy, I think it was like an Ikea desk or some shit. Yeah. And I used to like draw like these crazy ass fucking elaborate whatever to the point where like I'd be drawing for so long. And they're like, oh, you can come out now. It's like, it's cool. Close the door. I don't want to talk to nobody. <laughs> I'm, I'm, work- <laughs> I'm working on my masterpiece. Yeah. Leave me the fuck alone. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I mean, that's kind of where like a lot of it started and just like practicing. And I was... Um, I didn't really start gaining like technical skills till I got like older. Right. I would try to draw shit like the way it was supposed to look, and it would always look fucking really wonky. And instead of like keeping and practicing at it and trying to get it perfect the way it right. like the thing I was looking at, I was like, I'm gonna make this mine. Yeah. And yeah, so yeah. I would just go the fuck off on some random ass tangent until I was looking at some kind of like creature. But it was always like mine. It always made me happy. Like like there's a, like a private world that you know you could you can breathe the breath of life into you know through drawing yeah. and stuff that's why drawing is so important especially when you're a kid you know yeah it's like a it's like a sense of escapism and like you know uh we talked earlier about control and stuff you know yeah and so this is this is a little universe that i can control i can you know i can have this character do anything i wanted to do mm-hmm. and be in any kind of situation that uh I, I wanted to be in you know yeah so did uh was what do you think that was a response to where you grew up um, maybe. I mean, I moved around a little bit, but also think it was, um, shit. Cause you know. grew up not that far away from I this was, location, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was super close to here. I grew up on, um, like 74th and Crenshaw. So 74th like, and Crenshaw. That's the jungles. Yeah. No, no, no. That's like, uh, or the jungles are 53rd and Crenshaw and then it goes down there. Maybe. I don't know. Right. <laughs> Cause yeah, just for people that don't know, uh, so we're recording at my studio, which is South LA. Yep. But I think 73rd in Crenshaw was like proper South Central, right? Yeah, I was in South Central, but I was like right where, um, I was right literally two blocks of like where Inglewood and South Central meet. Right. So it was like a really weird, there was like a lot of, uh, it was like a lot of clashing of territories just because I was right, on, like I lived right on the line of where people shit banged up. Yeah. I was like, okay, well. Yeah, and that, that's that's a presence, you, as soon as you step out the door, there it is. Yeah. Or maybe you got cousins and everybody in your family, they're already involved. I was trying to stay like chill and low key. It's yeah. like it was always it was interesting to see people who like you know you go to elementary school with and then they like kind of find their group. Right. And you're like oh yeah they click up and yeah. then all of a sudden hey you, you used to be different. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh man, I remember a time where you were chill. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. But what happens like you know in, in like middle school and stuff? What, what what's middle school like? Thirteen. That's when yeah, it starts. Wanna, 12, yeah, it's 13? like. Because high school is the beginning, like, graduate 18, I mean, right. 14, 15. So I think middle school is, like, 10 to 13. Right. Yeah. And this, for you, because you're uh, younger than me, that uh, you were probably in middle school when? Like, uh, early 90s or something? Fuck, man. Or, or mid-90s? <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, when I moved there in 95, it's like we, we came out of, like, the gang. Like, the truces were already established, like, yeah. you know. But it was still to be felt. Yeah. You know, there still you're sitting presence. on the bus, you sit on certain buses, you're going to run into like, you're going to get checked. Yeah. Right. You know, you, the people are going to hit you up for shit. Yeah. I took the school bus most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm saying as you travel around, you know, oh, yeah. like, you know, just moving around the city and stuff. Yeah, totally. Uh, yeah. Shit was a lot scarier in the 90s than, than it is today, I feel. Do you yeah. feel that way too? 
Yeah. Well, I mean, every time I think about like how, um, like particularly like the safety thing goes, like I think it back to like downtown. Right. And how like there's so much like, I remember like the first time where I was like downtown has changed. I saw this lady like jogging at night with like a poodle and I was like, this is not the same downtown. Oh, this is not the same downtown. <laughs> and I was like, fucking A. Because um, the when I first got back to L.A., because I, I went to like Rancho for a little bit. Oh, I, Rancho Cucamonga? Yeah. Because okay. I, I, went, I went to... Um, Just about an hour, what is that, south of L.A.? Like, uh, northeast. Something. Or northeast, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And um, like suburbs. And then I came back here for like school and shit, but... Like I kind of like found my crowd. My crowd was mostly in downtown because it was all artists, right? And all artists are trying to like, right? That was know. the first wave in downtown. Yeah, yeah. I remember it was just it was business, business buildings and artist lofts. Yeah, but real artist lofts, not yeah. the one that they're trying to rent 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 out to you for, <laughs> for super for fucking expensive four grand. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I remember because there was like a lot of a lot of my friends lived in places that you were not supposed to be living in. Right, and they were super nice. Like, yeah. like it was like they looks like dangerous as shit from the outside. Yeah. And like uh, it was all like, I remember uh, that, yeah. like DIY, like oh yeah. Saying, I don't really give a fuck. Like, just give me something cheap, right? I'll build it the fuck out. Exactly. And I just watched... give me the space, and we'll we'll take care of the rest. Yeah. Pretty much. Right. And like uh, like a lot of my friends like were spent like half the week building artwork and half the week fucking at Home Depot buying shit to build out their yeah. fucking living spaces, and they made some really dope and creative <laughs> places, and it's just really fucking cool. Yeah. So that when you came back, that was like your your kind of like entry into through that prism of downtown. Yeah. Which, um, you know, it's it's a very interesting one because there's only a few prisms through which you can enter, right? So it's yeah. downtown. Venice was also a big one. Yeah. I came more through that one, even though I visited downtown. I kind of through them both. Or both, yeah. Because I was at Otis, and Otis is like really close to Venice, so right. it's like. Which is an art school, yeah. 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 So, like, a lot of my, like, a lot of the newer friends I was meeting, they're either in downtown or they're in Venice. And then there was, like, different waves in my life. Because when I moved back to Westchester, or, like, when I, like, actually lived there, um, a lot of my hangout time was spent in Venice. Right. Because it's so close to Venice. Exactly. And, like, Westchester doesn't have, like, a... Night and for life. people that are wondering what, what, what you know what, what we're talking about, West Westchester is actually the city in which LAX is found. Yep. And right next to Westchester is Inglewood, but you go mm-hmm. down the other way, then you're gonna run into uh, Marina del Rey and then Venice Beach. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's all really close to the to the airport. Yeah. It was uh it was nice. I uh <clears throat> I I miss Westchester a lot in in some ways. It was just it was nice like the it was nice, and it, I don't know what the fuck it looks like now, particularly pricing wise. Right. But when I was there, it was like nice. It was quiet. It was peaceful. It was nice. It was nice to go like visit Venice. Yeah. And come back home to Westchester, yeah, uh, where it was nice and quiet. You're just like, all right. Yeah. There's like, which I also wondered about like how families live there because I was like, you got like you're sandwiched between two big ass like, well LMU is a big ass college, but Otis is like not. I mean, it's a decent sized college. Right. But I'm like, you're sandwiched between like two college communities. Right. Where it's like, I got kids. It's like. Well, I, mean, like, I don't know what well, to tell. Well, try to be you. gentle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we used to uh, the, our neighbors used to call the cops on us a lot. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, Westchester is interesting. There's one little strip there. Yeah. Westchester kind of feels like a, a, a middle American mid city, not you know smaller than a mid city town, but yeah. like a main strip, and then kind of like, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? residential yeah right it's completely it's completely residential which yeah. is like why it's like such a strange little mix yeah it stays fucking. quiet because there's a lot of families there right but then there's still the colleges there yeah. so like there's like like a little bit of a rowdy element to it right exactly yeah i think i met you first in venice so uh like that makes just sense. a long time ago already on <laughs> yeah. your bike yeah right sounds about right yeah i i really got into um like i don't i've been biking my whole life but when i like really kind of turned it up a notch is when i met the guys from soleil mm-hmm I um I still like I remember like how we got in touch but I don't remember how we came across each other to like in like in the very beginning cuz one of the guys had seen my work before somewhere and I think it might have been in Venice and then he reached out to me on Facebook cuz I don't think yes, did Instagram exist it might have existed or it might not I don't yeah. know It's hard to say. I think we know each other like what 
That's about ten years almost. Ten years, it yeah. feels like. Yeah. At the, so if, if Instagram was twenty fourteen. Oh ish, shit! Okay, then yeah, yeah it didn't even yeah. exist yet. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh uh-huh. my god! <laughs> um, yeah, we're like, getting like, old, man. <sighs> I remember there was a time before uh, the color facts. It was right? a black and white facts. <laughs> and I got a color TV. <laughs> and the radio was only, uh, there was only treble, no bass on the radio. Yet. Oh, my God. Like, FM is the devil's music. <laughs> it's like, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, shit. <laughs> we're talking about. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was, I think, yeah, I think either you were painting or I was painting. You might have been painting. And then, uh, yeah, we just clicked on the street, you know? Fuck. I don't remember if that's when I met you or just, like, after I ran into you again. But I remember, like, one of the first time we had actually, like, maybe not. Shit. I don't know. You were working on this mural in the, uh, I think I'd already known you. Mm -hmm. But I don't think we had talked that much. But I had seen you working on this mural, like, down um, Speedway, I think. Right, 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 right. You're working on that big ass wall, and uh, like you've changed the colors on it a couple times. The mm, design that would make sense, yeah. But um, I think you had something kind of similar to the one that's behind you. Okay. Um, yeah. Now, fuck if I remember correct, I think it was like purple and like almost like a. Oh, I like remember a, which like one. Was. Like a purple that was the and yellow corner there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wave crest and speedway. Yep. Yeah, that was a fun one, man. Yeah. You're like on the ladder, just fucking jamming. Was like, that was two. Actually, then it was eight years ago, because I remember. Uh, because I'm trying to upload everything to my website chronologically. Nice. So even for myself. Yeah. So, but just the way it. I got to set up on Squarespace, I got to click back to the exact date. I can't yeah. just enter it. And so, yeah, that was 2012, March 2012. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. That, that, at least that's when I finished it. So it must have been like April or, or, or March. Yeah. You know. Man, I, I love that wall, man. That's what, I mean, Venice was totally fucking different. It was different. different. It's, Dude. It's before Silicon Beach. Yeah, I don't like the fact that they put a fucking... They got rid of the freak show, and then they put a fucking Starbucks in, which makes me uh, sick to my stomach. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It feels like a violation yeah, yeah, of yeah, what yeah. that place is and what it's been. Yeah. Yeah, and it's yeah, been yeah. like just a steady like I remember like people being like enraged about like like the small shit and I'm just like uh, uh. It's difficult, you know. It's difficult because um like especially back then I was I was there like I mean all the time, you know, like yeah. I, I really painted a lot there. Uh starting in like 2000 even, you know. So over the years you you get to know Everybody. Everybody. You know, the artists as well as the property owners or just, you know, some family that bought a piece of property back in the 70s or something. Yeah. And is hoping that, you know, maybe this is our retirement if you can sell it with, with a profit. Yeah. And, and, and so that balance becomes tricky. Yeah. And so I was a little bit like in the middle of it because mm-hmm. that building you, um, you met me at. Uh, that's all owned by one family. Okay. But they're, uh, they've, you know, it's. Did they sell it? They did sell it. Oh. But they're connected. They did really well. You know, the father set up that business and they got investment and this and that. So they have like a lot of properties all over, uh, Southern California. Oh. But I, then I became friends with Chad who had his, um, uh, like small agency in there, mm-hmm. and and the French couple who paid you know rent to be there, mm-hmm. like kind of like a commercial lease, five years, and then the tenants that lived there, one tenant lived there twenty five years, right on the boardwalk. I think he and paid like I think he paid like twelve hundred bucks or something, mm. like literally overlook <laughs> view out of his living room is the ocean, right? And and you know the guy's like seventy years old. And he's complaining, and this is this is tyranny, and this and that. And I'm like, well, <laughs> maybe you just got really lucky that you pay like 1,200 bucks for the last 25 years to live on like the boardwalk, yeah, right, and have this view that down the street from here, you pay 10 grand for that. And so it becomes really tricky because, like, from what angle should we look at it as, you know? This, 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 it's all perspective because everybody's got their own fucking perspective. Because the artists are like, wow, this fucking sucks. This was our place, we made it what it is, and now we're now we can't afford the rent anymore. We're forced out, we got to go to some other community in order to do what we do. Even thinking about it from that aspect, it's kind of like what we were talking about earlier. It's like now I kind of look at it as like, yeah, that does suck, but then there's also 
new opportunity. Right. Because everything, like, it's like there's like shitholes. And then the right. artists show up and then they make it cool. Right. And then everybody follows in because it's like already fucking cool. Right. So it's like, where can we go to make it cool? It's like, and also, how do we get there and how do we like own our shit so that somebody else can't come right. in and buy it up like once it's fucking cool right because i feel like a lot of people are like making do with whatever right and so it's kind of like the same thing it's like all the artists that i knew were like paying very little but they didn't own any of that shit right so it's like they should have like it. really like either gotten together or saved up some money or gotten a loan and yeah. bought the place that they lived in yes if it was for sale to begin with back and then before exactly it became it, beca- it became a valuable thing Exactly, because like gentrification get there, or whatever, make it cool, right. own it, right. and then fucking sell it. Because yeah. then, like, you can take that and you know build out your next right. like, fucking community. And it seems to be difficult to do in the U.S., where it's like, like my home country, Belgium, and like other places there. Like, you can like pretty much everyone in before they're thirty, they're they're buying their little house or little apartment or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's easy to do because it's not. You know, it's not that costly to do it, and the banks, you know, are willing work to work. Uh, in a lot of cases, as long as you got your, you know, fifteen to twenty percent down, you can yeah. you can do that. Nice. Uh, and that's like social democracy, right? Yeah. Where it's like backed, you know, somehow, and, and it's it's more advantageous for um, just normal people that don't that don't have wealth, but they they have a job, you know. Yeah. And here it seems to be a lot more difficult. Um, to really get that, especially in a town like LA. Fuck yeah. Because uh, property values are like, when I mention some of the, the rates, you know, some of the prices that are going uh, on here to like people back home. Yeah. They're like, what? Absurd. And what do you get? <laughs> Can I see pictures? It's like, <laughs> what do you, you don't get, get anything. That? You don't get shit. You don't get shit. It's like, here's a little slice of, a piece of a slice of something. Yeah. That'll be everything you own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank, thank you. Yeah. What's well, a smile? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but then you're in a market where you get these opportunities, you're connected, you know, the world is really looking at LA. So I guess, you it's know. It's like a trade-off. It, 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 it is a trade-off, you know, because there's not that many places that are like constantly like a place of, of inspiration, you know, and yeah. LA is certainly one of those. Yeah, opportunity is important. Yeah. Especially as a creative. Which brings us now to this COVID situation. Yeah. You know, uh, a lot of people are moving out of these like bigger markets, mm-hmm. right? Because when we think about LA, it's it's uh, it's uh, Hollywood has its reaches, um, you know, across millions of, uh, of of people here. You know, it's either they're 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 servicing Hollywood. You know, uh, they work as a, as a, as an actor. As, a, as I want to be an actor, as a director, producer makeup artist, uh, catering, uh, location rentals, like whatever it is, photography, you know, like all that stuff. And people are like, why are we paying so much money to be here anymore when it seems like this lockdown is not going to end? I'm going back to Nebraska. (laughs) (laughs) I heard things about Oklahoma. (laughs) I mean, fuck. And that kind of makes sense in a way. Spread it out. Thin it out. Like build some new shit. Like... I, I'm, you know what? I've been really hard up. It's like, I'm not going nowhere. I fucking love LA. I'm from LA. Yada, yada, yada. But I'm like, eh. I'd like to have like yeah. a home. I, I always want this to be home base. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. I try out some new shit. Yeah. 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 I see people do it. Like some friends have, have, have done it in like Georgia and stuff. Like they set up oh, a yeah, little yeah. thing. But that like, they, they got like a lot more of a creative community down there. Ish. Like filming and shit. Nope. Yeah. But you know, you live here. You've been hustling here a yeah. long time. And I really like your hustle. Because, uh, like, work ethic to me is, I love that. You know? Oh, yeah. I love a good work ethic. It's like, you know. And and it was a time I used to run into you everywhere. <laughs> you know? And I'm like, okay, that's my man right yeah. here. I like that. It's like always trying to, like, just always, like, work. Getting What's yourself next? Out. Yeah. Yeah. Doing live painting stuff, setting up booths and, and selling stuff. I still have that Adderall t shirt you made. Dude, I you gave some, me back I got some the freshies. Day. Um, only got I stopped making them. I got a hand. I got like a. Those were classic. I've seen a lot of people wear those. No shit. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. tight. I, um, I've been wondering if I'm going to go back to like 
Not wondering if I am going to make some new shit. I don't think I'm going to make the same one. Like right. the same, sh- like the, yeah, I'm gonna keep it fresh. Those, yeah. Reinvent. I think I'm going to keep the limited editions just yeah. as they are. Yeah. Well, was um, that a four color process print or was that a direct to garment? Direct to garment. Yeah. Right. Looks yeah, good. Yeah. So yeah. I just like, yeah. And got like the nicest fucking, it was an expensive process getting all that shit made, but I was like, yeah. I want the nicest shit yeah. you guys got. I was like, that was expensive. Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. like, you know what? It is. Gonna... But, but it's like, you know, like I'm bringing it up now. Yeah. Like this is like very early on you gave me that one. Yeah. And 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 it's like, well, that's now another association uh, with you. You know, that matters. All that stuff matters. Yeah. Like I think a lot of people like be, because of Instagram and, and the Internet are like, as long as I look good on the gram, that's all I need. <laughs> Which in a lot of cases that works. And you make a lot of followers that way. But yeah. like. You know, you got to be active in, in, in your scene, you know, yeah. you got to sh- go, go to shows, you got to do stuff in the street, you got to make work, you got to d- think of things in, in, you know, from a different perspective. I've been thinking about that a lot too. Like, how is this all shifting? Um, I was talking to some, uh, some new friends of mine and they were talking about doing, um, they're like, I guess we're not going to do, be doing any, too many live like projects anymore, you know, like live art and shit. And they were telling me how, um, cause it, it's a duo and they're telling me like how they um got brought on to do like live art um like a live art thing like a video like a live art video installation or something like that to where like people would like uh like for a brand or something I, like to do like a live sh- like the video is like a live it's, stream it's like or it's something? a live stream but it's mm. from their studio so like right. they didn't have to go anywhere and but like, like let's fuck. say brought to you by yeah. whoever it is yeah, yeah. That's good. And I, was I like, like shit. that. Like that's yeah. fucking tight because you don't have to go anywhere. Right. You don't have to set shit up. Like it's interesting. Yeah. A lot of people don't think about like the fucking like the actual like it, right. it's not just there when you get there. Like you got to pack your car. You right. Got to like get the paints. It's like you got to yeah. travel there. You got to travel back. You got to find parking. You got to yeah. like unload. You got to reload. Like, right. Yeah. It's a whole thing. But imagine it's a whole just, like, you just turn a fucking camera on and yeah. you're like already in your space. Right. And you can provided fucking, like, like people are interested in that. Yeah. You know, and so I think that's good. Uh, but uh, you know, as a marketing thing, I don't, just have a you know, it's like a peephole into someone's process or, or yeah. studio. But if you, if you can do something, I think it's probably going to go to towards like doing something like extraordinary, yeah. where everyone can like have a piece of what was created or something mm-hmm. or something along those lines, like some interaction above and beyond just a video. I like the Keep idea it. of like doing kind of like an AR thing, right? Where you can kind of like be present without necessarily needing to be present. Yeah. I don't know, I've been thinking about it a little bit, yeah. of, like, because um, I have a lot of friends that, like, are in, like, tech, and I'm just like, yeah. What's, yeah. what's coming next? Like, what's... Uh... What is coming next? You know, and then and it's tricky that the AR thing. AR has a problem, you know? Like, it's cool, but, like, no one's really into it. In the application that we're getting to use it. Yeah. Uh, you know, from a, a user uh, perspective. One of the things I've been thinking about is that it, I thought it was going to um, gain a lot more steam during COVID time. You know, right. like with everybody being locked down and not able to actually physically like interact the same way. I thought it would like there'd be like a lot more uptick in that because like a lot more people were at home. I, I, I was asked to to be in, I forget what like the company VR, was, yeah. but what was the thing that launched a couple of months ago? And Quibi? they had, what was it? Quibi? Was it Quibi? No, there was, it was like a, it was like a virtual trade show slash art fair. Oh. And so I had to download this thing on a laptop and then I had to set up my booth and this and that. And then oh. it stopped working. Uh-huh. But then they said, well, we'll put a representative right next to your booth. And then you'd walk into this, you know, just like you go to like an art fair or something. Yeah. And then, oh, there's people there. And you see them from a distance. And then you like with your uh, mouse, tick, 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 get closer. And then once you're closer, you see, oh, this is, you know, such and such. This is their handle. This is what they do. And then you can chat with them or communicate with them over oh, the that's mic. Pretty cool. And then you walk. He's like, "Oh, well, I know a cool spot around the corner. We can smoke a blunt." No, <laughs> they didn't allow for any of that. But you know, and then you just walk around, and then you know, you go to booths, and then artists had had their stuff. Digital artists also like. Um, well, I didn't get to join it because the thing was so heavy, in like processing power that I guess my Mac book couldn't handle it for some reason. Yeah. But it's like it, and I. But I did the tests with them, and I'm like, yeah. 
uh, but I'm not, you know, like, do I, like, just from the user standpoint, do I really need to, like, walk this digital space to run into person X and then look at a digital version of a painting? No, I'll just go on Instagram. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, mm. I think we're, we're, it's not there yet. Ready Player One. Ready Player One, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen that? I have seen that, yeah. It's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. I'm, that's, I mean, it seems kind of cool in theory, but I'm like, fuck. Yeah. That's like yeah. too close to the matrix for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it's weird. Like art, like it, it's, it's got to be seen. It's got to be, you know, the, 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 the light hits it, you know, it's. Well, even just like today. So like you've seen the piece I've been working on. Right. And it's a little bit different because I don't have it with me. I had to drop it off. But like I was talking, I, um. Wait, you dropped that big ass piece off yeah. on your bike? No, no, no. I'm about to say <laughs> it, was, it was like a, it was um, I dropped it off at the restaurant. It was a few blocks away, so I put it on a dog. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. Shit but um, yeah. yeah, no, uh, I ran into one of my neighbors in the hallway when I was bringing it down because it was so big. I had to put it on the fucking freight elevator. Right. And um, she goes like, "Yeah, I thought that thing was a lot smaller when I saw it on Instagram." Yeah. I was like. Yeah, no, you didn't put a quarter is... next to it for reference. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was like, I put it in, like, I put it against the wall, like to try to give it like a frame, but it's like that thing is like a lot larger in person. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm trying to get it out of the, <laughs> I'm trying to get it out of the fucking building. Yeah, and it was a lot heavier than like I didn't remember, like because it's been like a few weeks. So I thought I was like, oh yeah, it's it, like it's gonna be an easy thing. So when I went downstairs, I'm like, yo, let me get that dolly, like just like the straight up dolly. Yeah. And then I got back to the... Even that is a struggle. Cause it was, it was Dude, like, yeah. it was a pain in the ass. So I had to get like the big fucking behemoth ass doll. Yeah. And like kind of... And even still, I had to angle it out. Like yeah. it still wasn't like a straight up process. Yeah. And, Bananas. Uh, but yeah, it's it's there now. It's And then they have it for the next uh, two and a half months. That's cool. Yeah. And what were they going to do with it? They have it on display. So I've been... They're um, going to have it on display outside? Outside, yeah. yeah that's what you were saying, right? Mm -hmm. I thought it was a painting painting, but it's, it's, it's going to be uh, uh, adhered to the building. No, it's... All right, so what I did is... Um, one of the things I just started doing, which is kind of like opened up for me, is like I've been doing like art rentals for different okay. places. And so like they rent it and they rented this no piece shit. for uh for a few months you're hustling art rentals in, in this in this in this environment yeah i like it, that like, it's it's See, uh told, told you everybody like, quinn's a hustler i didn't uh it wasn't like it just kind of happened it's like all right well this is what it cost to own this right but you can rent it for like x amount of time especially if you only need it during like right. and did you propose times. this to them or they came to you I, I told them it's like yeah Good. in order to like if you want to have this for that time being right and then also i was concerned about it like being outside so i'm building like a like a whole bracket system yeah. and i'm and, like this and, has to come down every night so it's like in the morning oh wow it goes up at nighttime it comes down no way and they I don't agree to, to that up. yeah wow so it's like it's a that's two-man job very unusual because normally like you know any given business uh in general uh, they don't really like if you want to paint something on the wall. Yeah, go ahead. But like, I'm, you, you're not gonna make me work, pal. <laughs> oh, you want me to take this out? Who the fuck do you think you are, Picasso over here? That's their <laughs> attitude, you know. Yeah. And so, so, so not only this is very interesting. <laughs> so you approached them. You said, "Look, you need a piece of art here." And is it like covering the windows or? Well, it's cover. It's covering one of their uh, their main windows, but they're getting it like it's been. All right, so. I thought I was going to get it done, like, really quick. But right. then, like, I kind of fell in love with the piece. So I was like, right. this needs more attention. Right. And so I was like, okay, I'm, like, if it would have been, like, something I'd give, like, a few, given a few days to. Right. I'd have probably not been as protective about it. But after I got into, like, week one and I was like, this is going to take some time for me to really, like, right. bring out what I'm trying to do. I was like, yeah, this can't be out here overnight because, right. like. Yeah, if it gets scratched or tagged, yeah, I, I'm gonna be I, fucking I, This furious. is not part of what I want this piece to look like. Yeah, and I don't want to be back over here like touching trying it to up fix all it. Yeah, exactly. So I was like, you know what? Just yeah. like I'm, I built the bracket, or uh, I'm gonna do, install the bracket system tomorrow. Nice. And it's like it's a really easy thing. It's like right. you slide, slide it in, in slide, slide out. out. Yeah. But I'm like, if you have two people, it'll go in like two yeah, seconds. Yeah, yeah. That's excellent, man. I like that. And there's like a place inside for it. Like we uh, dropped it off today. Yeah. Put it inside. It's like nice and safe, and yeah. it's like a, it's a real fucking very cool yeah. easy thing. And so you know, just because uh, I also, you know, I'm interested in the tricks of the trade. This is a trick 
that I don't know too much about. But amongst friends here, there's all creatives listening. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like how, you know, let's say there's someone listening in Kansas City or uh, anywhere. And they're like, well, I, you know, I can get someone interested in, you know, hanging my work on the outside, you know, in order to decorate and, you know, especially during this COVID time, it's a welcoming thing. Like, wow, let's look at that. Oh, there's a business. Let's go in. But what, what did you tell the business? Why it was a good idea uh, to rent uh, a piece from you and, and have it installed in this way? Um, all right, you know, so, what, what, what was the angle, if you, if you understand? Well, I mean, there, the, like, I've been, especially around, like, downtown, like, that's, like, stomping around for me. And so, like, I, like, I, like, even, I feel like I'm almost kind of working even when I'm not working. Right. So it's just, like, you know, like, most of the people who I know, like, own businesses down there or whatever, they, like, they know, like, I paint, they know, like, I'm, like, working right. with them. Right, so they're creating. already, the relationship was already there. Yeah. Right. And so... So then you proposed it to them, and they said, "Well, that's a great idea." Well, they wanted to they wanted to own um, they wanted to have a piece, and I was like, "All right, cool." Um, but originally, the the idea originally was supposed to be for like an inside thing, and then it went from inside to like sign like inside signage with art, right? To like outside signage with art, right? And then like the protest started happening, and like, "Yo, dude, we need to have like like we need like some actual like physical like work stuff that's right. going to be like a part of." And I'd already done a few projects like around town. And it's like, all right, after I had seen the other work that I'd done, they're like, all right, it, we don't really want, <laughs> we want signage, but we want like, we want kind of some of this flavor. Right. Because so, they probably saw the the thing you did at Laugh Factory. Uh, no, they saw the Abikini stuff. Oh, the Abikini stuff. Yeah. yeah and they're just like, yeah. fuck, I want some of that. And I was like, yeah, I mean, sure. But like also, um, like I told them, it's like, I'm creating like actual pieces. It's not just like a, it's not like a small... Right, I'm not gonna just going to hit it up for an hour and a half. Like, exactly. I, I want to really finish I'm creating it. something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's like, all right, you can either buy that and have it, you know, and have it as is, or um, you can rent it, but then I'm keeping it at the end of the rental. Mm, and so, like, good. you're covering... Very good. You're paying significantly less. I like that. And you're paying, like, a percentage of its, like, value per month. Yeah. And then, like... No, so it's a wonderful way. Like it's it's very Hollywood way, uh, because a lot of productions, you know, they they want to rent a piece for yes. the production. That's almost exactly what it, it is. That, that that's the model, right? So yeah. I, that's interesting because I've never heard of that with uh, uh, an actual <laughs> business, and then in, in this particular way with the with the with the boards that protect the business. Yeah. Right? So that to me is very inventive. <laughs> yeah. I like that. I mean, I like I, I like that a lot. It's like always looking for new new. <laughs> yeah, but and you're right, you know, because uh, I also see that now that it, for those that don't know or live in, in in different countries or something, like LA's boarded up still. Yeah, you know, it's still boarded up very much. And people, it's it's like a grim scene, but like a lot of artists are coming out, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, where you know it was difficult for them to have work in public. Now, uh, they're just painting thing. for free. But uh, you are yeah. saying, look, I'm a little bit more established than that. So I'm, I'm going to propose something. And if, if, if you, you understand the value, then let's do it right. And that's yeah. what you did. I like that. And what's, what's cool is like a lot of it is like I didn't want to be. I did a few of them like on site. Right. While I was outside. And I was like, fuck that. I want to like work on it at home right. and like or in like in my own studio right and fucking like just and take, take time. my time with it and who did you paint on because there's three figures there i found those faces online yeah so <laughs> um there's one there's 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 one woman on there in particular though like i just really like her style like I, i've right. already done like a few um pictures of her and i was just like you have like a cool like energy and vibe and like I want to like recreate because like a lot of the times I need to I need to start taking my own like photos. Yeah. Because first I just don't want to deal with any outside bullshit. Appropriation also, and like you know. Yeah. What Shepard went through with the Obama thing. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like I want to start and also I like taking photos anyway. Right. Um. I don't know what that looks like right now with the whole you know COVID. Yeah. But you can still do it. By the way. Uh. How much have you been washing your vegetables and your groceries? Um, <laughs> because I, you told me earlier. Oh, yeah. I saw that video too, but then I, and, and I sent it to some people that I really care about. But then 
I'm like, am I really going to do that? And I never really did it. I never let my groceries sit outside or I, I never washed them. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, But okay. you, you are doing that, I think? Yeah, I still yeah. like, so I've been, <laughs> I've been spraying everything <laughs> down. Like That's what you say, yeah, you're spraying everything. What are you spraying it down? Hydrogen with? peroxide. No shit. Yeah. Well, that's, I mean, I'm not spraying, I'm not spraying my fruits, but it's like, I was like, okay, it's a disinfectant. It's, it settles in like five minutes. It right. kills whatever. Yeah. Um, I, I have a vegetable wash for like the uh, right. for the fruits and veggies. So well, it's probably like the, it all honestly like because we don't know the tra- the trajectory of that product of that fruit or of yeah. that uh, vegetable. So I it's probably good to anyway. do that in any case. Yeah. Right. So I have a vegetable wash. I keep it under the sink. Right. Like I fill up what I'll do so I don't waste so much fucking soap. Right. Because I'll fill the I'll like clean out the yeah. sink and then I'll like put all the things on one side. I have like a whole process. Yeah. So I'm like, this is the dirty side. So then they, they go in the water, they get scrubbed, they get rinsed, and yeah. then they get put on yeah. like a towel next to the other. And then I'm like, this is clean, this is dirty, yeah. this is clean, this is dirty. And yeah. it goes through this whole system. And then I like, air a lot on of the, the times side, I'll just air, air on the side of safety. Yeah. And so yeah. like, that's how I do the, the fruits and the fruits and veggies, but like everything else, like I just spray the box, right. wait five minutes, Make sure it's nice and dry, and then I put that shit away. Right, because you really think that if someone handled it, like maybe there's some, you're just trying to live. You're yeah, just I'm to, just like I've always yeah, kind of been like whatever a this bit is. Of a, like if this is like the most cautious way of, of 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 getting through this, I don't mind it. You know, I'm an artist, so I'm probably OCD already anyway. I was already kind of <laughs> like that, so that's why I was like, I don't give a shit. Like, yeah, it's like you're crazy. Yeah. It's like uh, yeah. okay. <laughs> 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 especially because like particularly be- since the beginning it was like, like nobody really has any like real fucking knowledge like right. know what the fuck is going on and I'm like I still gotta eat I still gotta fucking go out I still gotta right. like like the shit that I have to do I still have to do and I still gotta be physical so I'm just right. like I have a friend he he sprays down like he's walking down the street he sprays down where he's gonna take the next step spray step spray step that's too much no i'm kidding <laughs> i was like that's fucking ridiculous i was like i would just wait till i got because what what like i don't like i do have like a cut off line that like i take my shoes off and i don't let shoes pass it's like i take my shoes off right. in the house and i'm like yo even yeah. when like if by the way over, that's also like uh in eastern europe yeah or in japan like it's very insulting if if you walk into someone's home and you keep your shoes on yeah no they just don't do it yeah you know like i grew up i believe in that. i grew up not in eastern europe or in japan um uh, and i've been here 25 years now but like i i like you to be comfortable so keep your kicks on i know probably oh, people you're stepping on the off. homeless urine and and maybe a dog shit <laughs> you know it's, it's what you stepped in it like two weeks ago but you didn't clean it right off uh i guess it would be different if 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 i had carpet Right, carpet. I, got I, I would probably floors, say take your like, shoes off. Take them shits off. Right. I just like I don't know, man. Like, I just I can, I know the type of shit, and especially in downtown. I know the type of shit that's like. Oh, downtown is crazy. Every downtown corner is has been grimy. It's downtown pissed is so on grimy. For like so I'm decades. like, I almost don't even want to take the fucking shoes in the house. Yeah, I used to leave the them outside are the, of the apartment. But then, um, but then the fucking building complained. They're like, "Yo, you got to take these shoes inside." And I was like, yeah. All right, "Fuck it." Oh, because you had them in the hallway. Hell yeah! yeah. Oh, <laughs> I got like a map, and a little mat, and I just like take them off right there on the mat and step wow. inside. You know what would be helpful? Because um, you know, maybe there was a funk coming from the shoes. Hey, fuck it. Nah, it's you know, <laughs> like with cheeses. <laughs> you know, there's like a the glass. What was the, the the it's like a glass dome you put over the cheeses. How do you say that in English? I know what you're talking about. Was it? Was I don't that know what a, it's called? I want to think. I want to say. So they use like, the same thing for cakes okay. and shit. Yeah, but it's like it just holds the the oxygen in. Mm-hmm. Something like that, but for like for like Jordans. Yeah, <laughs> you know I mean? that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, uh, for the hallway. Exactly. No, I get it though, but uh, yeah, I'm just like I don't want to respect. Track it like that's in the house. that's next level. Like that's fantastic. I'm just like you know what? Yeah. Fuck it. I'm not. But uh, that in the you, house you're getting a lot of sun though, because that that seems I to get be plenty of sun. like. Like turns out, I guess a figure that's really true. Yeah. Apparently, that all, all the COVID um, critical cases. Yeah. Right. They found that eighty percent of people that end up in like critical condition. Yeah. Are absolutely vitamin D deficient. Oh, damn. Yeah. Which is the sun, not enough sun. And so. It's no good. Because that vitamin D turns into it starts off as a vitamin, but as is absorbed by the skin, turns into a protein. 
Nice. And that like sub, uh, like really aids out the immune system. But so you got some plenty. Yeah. Because you're well, always on your bike. Yeah. Well, that's lucky. For a, lot a minute, of people don't get that. For a minute, I, I I wasn't for like almost a month and a half because um, my bike had like a shit ton of issues. I actually just got back yesterday. Yeah. And um, so for like a month and a half, I was like not really riding, but I'm just getting back into my thing. I'm gonna get back on my like. Um, for a good long while, I was getting up at like four o'clock, make sure I'm out of house at like four thirty. No 4:30 shit. A.M. Yeah, and then I do a lap around the whole city, and I so I do about like forty miles a day really? before everybody wakes up. And just just because that's that's your training time, like this is, yeah. you you enjoy well, the was, city and you're working out at the same. Well, time. also I was training to do a cross country bike trip. I, I remember that. And then like this happened, and yeah. I'm like, I still want to keep that shit going. Like yeah. I want to keep training. I want to yeah. keep like. So let's it's talk nice. about that. Like, um, you want to go cross country to benefit uh, inner city youth, right? Yes. Yeah. And um, so I wanted to do like a full like book. And um, was it going to be like a solo mission, or like with with another? There was person? like a few people that that were or trying like to go with cars me. Cars that track you and stuff. There was a few people that wanted to go with me and like wanted to handle like sponsorship and shit like that. But like everything was in discussion. Outside of me, actually, like there was a handful of people that were like, you know, on and like a few people that were like actually sponsoring. Right. And then like it was like as it was gaining momentum. The COVID to, like, shit fully, Yeah. To be fully like fucking funded. <laughs> Everything yeah. collapsed. Yeah. 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 And so I was like, fuck it. But I think then, you could still do it now because it's not like you're like. I don't in, think it's in, the worst. In close proximity with anyone. I don't think it's the worst thing to do now, but I'd like to do it where it's like more of a freeing thing because I want to, it's, right. it's supposed to be about like connectivity. Connectivity and, and so stopping at all the towns and, and, and the cities and like seeing what's up there and yeah. like collaborating and like painting something. And yeah, that's exactly. beautiful. Yeah. So it's like, it's supposed to be like a, uh, right. you know, like this is supposed to be more of a collaborative effort. And right. so like that kind of went out the window. Right. <laughs> so, and, and, and in your original idea proposal, like, uh, how many York. stops would you make and like how, how much there was time like 30 something stops like 30 like stops 30 some odd stops and like what in, in like what 30 three days months. three months yeah yeah, yeah it's a so, long way to go yeah I mean like you can get it done in like uh, I looked on the thing I think it takes 11 days to actually do it yeah but it was like it's like what was it like 5,000 miles or something no no it's uh, I think it's 30 Depending on which route you take, because right. there's like if you like you can either go like north, mid, or like this south. This is also a problem, yeah. Because I was avoiding by south. car is is you got freeway systems, yeah. but you, you can't go with a bike on a, on a freeway. Well, yeah, on certain ones, a lot right. of it's like you know just like flat ground shit. But like also, there's a lot of issues with that because I was definitely trying to avoid the fucking south. But there's also a lot of art shit happening in like yeah. different parts. So there was like a lot of shit going on. I was still yeah. figuring out quite a bit of it. Right. Um. I kind of got put like it's, it's it's funny that we're talking about it now because it kind of got pushed to the back of my mind after all this shit happened right. and like it was just like um, figuring out this whole like work situation because right. I had like things booked up and things like that like the whole world came to it's a screeching fucking halt. It's crazy. And then yeah, um, it's, it's, as soon as April hit, like or like the fuck April March <laughs> it was like mid March. Right, and then March twenty second was the last time because I had some homies in town who had a show downtown, and I'm like, man, they're here from Europe. There's no way I'm not gonna go to their show. Yeah, the first time in LA, first time showing in the US, I'm gonna be there. But I like looked at it. I was like, okay, am I? What am I risking by going there? You know, like yeah. March twenty second. Uh, shout. We shut down on the thirteenth, right? Uh, what day was it shut down? It was kind of like, yeah. And then the gallery said, well, 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 we'll have extended hours, right? Open up early and close late. And yeah. like, just like let a few, a few people in. Yeah. Uh, but it was Jerome from Hello Monsters, big shout out. And Nano from Spain, who had a two-man show downtown at uh, Avenue des Arts. And I'm like, I got to go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right down the street. Ah. And I'm like, man, these are the homies. I, I have to go. And I went. And it wasn't that bad. Nice. But I remember that I yeah. did not go to that. No, the, like the show that. was great, but it wasn't that bad being there because it was really, really like spread out. Yeah. But I'm like, this is like my last social thing. Like I shouldn't even be here type of vibe, yeah. but I have to be here. And, and after this, that's it. Yeah. And then that was it actually. Cause then like things really like got locked down. Yeah. And then, you know, 
everything like disappeared you know all these ideas and projects and like you know it's booked but it's uh, not we'll really booked <laughs> you know uh, postponed indefinitely times like everything that was on the table yep and and i remember like april was really scary you know and and so what do what we do right you know we're, we're, we're guys that we can work digitally but we mostly work analog and who's gonna who's gonna need our stuff now <laughs> for what Right? What, you're gonna spend money now? Yeah. Really? A lot of shit got like like just slowed or just stopped right. completely. I know, like a fl- like plenty of other artist friends, just like I was supposed to go paint this whole hotel, and the hotel was like, "Fuck it." Yeah, the, ho- the hotel <laughs> may not make it. Yeah, the hotel's like, we we got a dog and a stray cat living in this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it gets wild like, right man, now. We'll, we'll take donations in milk. <laughs> Like, can we pay you in room rental? Like, <laughs> can, 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 can we pay you in free porn? Like, <laughs> no, I got that covered. <laughs> Plenty of people shoot here. Don't worry. Yeah. So, no scary, scary, scary shit. Like yep. super scary shit. I don't know what the I, fuck was coming next. But then, like, we we just gotta do like, I have a phrase that I use quite often, and I've used it. I, I was using it before. Uh, I was told that that was the way to think. And, and, and it's the idea of, you know, the, you have to assume that the universe is rigged in your favor, you know, which means that if you, if, I like you, that. if you put the work ethic in, right, if, if you share it enough, right, and especially now, because I heard the shit like before, like any of these socials, you know, like late 90s. And, and I'm like, well, you know what? I, I would like to believe that. <laughs> let me, I, you know, like, let me be, you know, like, rascalian enough to feel like, you know what, I'm really supposed to do what I'm doing. Like, okay. this is my purpose. I have to create work. And hopefully it connects people and hopefully people connect to it. Yeah. Right? And so, therefore, my only mission is, which is also the payment of being alive, it's to make more work. Because yeah. that's such a great joy. Right, and I think oh, that yeah. if we keep doing that and keep sharing, which we can do now across so many platforms, like I feel like we will be okay. Yeah. Do you, Do you like that uh, idea? Yeah. I'm staying busy. Staying busy, man. Keep that's, it moving. Uh, yeah, that that's like Vinny Victor. It's like stay busy, stay working, keep fucking, just keep fucking, keep going. Right. It's like <clears throat> I got really like. I got down for a little bit, and then mm. I, and then I got to this like mindset. It's like, dude. Um, it's like, dude. I don't give a fuck if I die. I'm gonna come back to life. <laughs> Keep fucking painting. Like, it's like nothing is my, gonna stop my me. My ghost no is gonna what. paint that motherfucking wall. Exactly. <laughs> just like, just like, kind of just mindset. And then, yeah. I, like, it reminded me of just kind of, um, just a lot of the people that I like appreciate and look up to, and a lot of it's like artists. But then I started thinking about like. It was really hard because I started getting trying to fi- like figure out like the, the fucking when like a lot of the people who I who like started like affecting my life particularly within the last year or so have been like athletes so it's been like Kobe and like fucking um, fuck what's that guy's name I don't know I started watching I started watching like motivational videos like every fucking morning yeah so like right when I get up like just the shit to just like. <clears throat> that motivates me oh so Jocko Willing there we go that fucker yeah I, so I knew it's like, yeah, I, so I, I, like, to him too. I play that shit in the morning like if I'm tired and I'm just like I don't feel like getting good. up to go on this fucking bike ride good get up and go anyway yeah and good. I'm like fuck oh, yeah oh you, you got, you got a, little, you, a little tired a little hungry good keep cycling yeah right but that, that's how I feel with, with painting like exactly so it's just like apply that mentality to right. the shit that I'm doing because I know I'm doing something positive I know I'm doing something in the right way don't let yourself be lazy. And even if the, it's like something that's like where it's, people are just like, oh, well. Um, Excuses. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here with those. Exactly. You, did you ever see the movie Pollock? No. Great art film about Jackson Pollock. Is that the one with... Um, Ed Harris. Oh. Ed Harris plays Pollock. It's probably like a 1992. It's on Hulu, right? Uh, I haven't seen it in a minute. Okay. But you can find it. Pollock. Okay. And so it's the crazy story, the tragic story of Jackson Pollock, who accidentally discovers action painting. No more brush touching the canvas. He's dripping on it. But before he discovers that, he's living like, I guess like upstate New York or something with his yeah. wife. Uh, Lee Krasner, I think, also a painter, who became more of like his like arranger of his life, like a little yeah. bit manager. 
And so it got pretty fucking cold up there in that barn, which he converted into a studio. And there's one scene, man. I want, I want, I want you to see it. I want you to watch it because I'm freezing my nads. Like, up. like he wakes up six in the morning. He's got cut off gloves on, right? This is Jackson Pollock, probably late fifties, I think. You know, about to discover a great discovery in the arts, action painting, which was a thing for a minute. You know, it just like said fuck you to everything that came before it. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, makes his pot of coffee. And there's a walk from, from the house to the barn. And it's fucking freezing. And, you know, I, I think they show like a shot of what time it is. It's like 5 a.m. or something. Like, this, you know, the, 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 the winter sun is like barely peeking over the hill. And he's like, you know, with the pot of coffee, a oh, cigarette in his mouth, and he's slipping over to the studio, like half asleep still, no shower. You just wake up, pot of coffee, get to the studio. Get there. And, and, and then he's there, and he's like, oh, oh, oh. looking at this fucking annoying canvas that's a puzzle piece that he can't figure out. And he's, he's forcing himself to paint, right? He's just forcing himself to paint. Like, does that work a thing? Like, get in front of the canvas. Get there, do it. Paint your eight, eight, nine hours a day. Do it like any other job. Yep. And, and just, when I, like, I get goosebumps. Look, when I, when I think about it, because I've been in many positions where, like, I don't want to do this. I'd rather do blah, blah, blah. But, like, all the time. Like, and so to have that, that motivating factor, right? Um, like, the, the Basquiat thing, too. When he, have you seen the movie Basquiat? Yes. Uh, by Julian Schnabel, who's yeah. also a great painter. When he gets that studio for the first time, right? And his gallerist gives him the studio space. And then, like, he's like, you're just going to let me paint down there? And he's like, she's like, yeah, I want you to make work, make work. And then he gets in there. It's like, holy shit. And then he's like, just stuff. setting up. And the, 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 the feeling, the honor of getting to make work and having some interest, right? That's super motivational. Fuck yeah. You know, and that's... That's what people don't realize about like creative people. Uh, it's not like, oh, you know, this is just what I do. I press a button and here it comes. <laughs> no, sometimes we gotta, we gotta, we gotta run up to it for like two hours or three hours and fuck around and like whatever. But then we know we're gonna put in our six to eight. That's right. Or maybe twelve on some days. Just twenty-four, we, yeah. depending on what drugs you take. A <laughs> uh, hashtag Adderall. <laughs> but you know that it's it's. Because it's fun, like, you know, when you paint on the weekends and it's like, oh, no, I'm, it, to me, it's therapy. Well, that's cute. <laughs> Until it becomes like everything. Depends it, on it. Yeah, everything. Like your livelihood depends on it. And you got oh, no absolutely. backup. And this is it. You chose this. There's, there's no, there's no, there's, there's no, no selling used cars or like, you know, <laughs> being an Amazon uh, influencer. Like, fuck <laughs> off. No, that's not what I'm doing. And, and that commitment, like, it will test you. Yeah. And, and that's the fun part. Like, once you pass a certain amount of years of tests, right, you get into a zone of like, wait, so if I can trust the timeline looking back, and God damn, what a timeline that's been, I can probably trust the one that's up ahead of me, right, in front of me. And I like that. Boom. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. I love that kind of shit. So I love that you bring that up. <laughs> yeah. Fucking just jamming. Yeah. What else do you look at uh, to, to like get motivation? Uh, like when you're like, man, I really shouldn't, but oh fuck, I, I know I kind of. And then like it's, it's a song or a video or something. Um, I like to listen to metal, like, like Metallica. Friend, yeah. And Justice for All. You talking about Justice the band? No, and Justice for All, the album by Metallica. Mm. Don't tell me you don't know that album. I don't know. I have it, I have it on... Uh, oh, just Spotify? No, no, no. I have it on Apple Music, um, Metallica Essentials. It's probably a lot of songs from And Justice For All. So the, the third album. Because I, I kind of just like yeah. pick and choose. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So but metal, I, huh? I like it. <clears throat> and like metal and like... uh that shit? I mean, I guess it's still kind of like punk rock kind of right. shit. Yeah, you grew up a punk, right? Right. You were a punk in South Central. But not an actual punk, but just like... I was in the house in South Central. My parents were like, don't go outside. Really? They didn't let you out? <laughs> not really. I mean, Because like, they were like, we know what's out there, but I'm not, they're not trying to I get was, you mixed I up. I was never out at night, I can tell you that. Yeah. Like, I was How bad was it, like, when, when, when you came out? 
I mean, honestly, mostly it was fine. There was like, I definitely got like stories of like just really fucked up shit that I was like not necessarily a part of, but shit that I just witnessed. Right. It's like, oh fuck, shit's real. But like most of the time, it felt like it was like it felt pretty right. chill and pretty safe. Right. Um. But like what kids getting jumped and stuff and just like getting tested or something. Or like worse than that, like clips emptied. It was. Just, there was just shit. Just I'll right. leave it. <laughs> I'll leave it there. I, I like I like how you do how you kind of like let's not look at that. Let's stay here. I like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah there great. was uh, some, it was interesting times. But like for the most part, every everything was chill. Everybody right. was chill. There was definitely a lot of people who <clears throat> who were trying harder than they needed to be. You know. Right. I don't know. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How, how, how do you? Uh, your family still lives there now? No. Um, that's why I ended up in Rancho. So I finished high school out there. Right. Oh yeah, because uh, everybody moved. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody went to the suburbs. Right. Like almost all of my family moved to the suburbs and different parts of the suburbs almost around the same time within like a two year span. Right. Um, that's, that I was still probably have, the move to make. Like yeah. if, if we can if we can manage to get out of here, let's let's just go. I still have, like, plenty of family that's still here. Yeah. And, like, you know, completely safe, chilling, doing their thing. But, like, a lot of my, uh, a lot of my, like, immediate family, like, right. was just like, fuck it, we're going to the suburbs. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Dirty Rotten Imbeciles. <laughs> that was a good punk band. I was into punk for a minute, like, through skateboarding videos. Yeah. And DRI was, like, the shit. It was like as do it yourself as it can get. Dude. Fucking skate videos are where I got a lot of my music for a very yeah. long time. Dinosaur That's, Jr.? Yes. Love I was thinking, Dinosaur Jr. I was thinking about Wolf Mother. Wolf Mother. I don't not that familiar. What? I was like getting into like hip hop already around okay, that okay. time. Yeah. I mean or earlier. I was uh just fucking like, what is this? And then one of my friends, an older guy, was like, yo, it sounded like Led Zeppelin. I was like, who the fuck is Led Zeppelin? <laughs> <laughs> and then I found Led Zeppelin because I started listening to Wolf Mother. And yeah, Led Zeppelin Mother. is something. When, Dude, when you Led discovered Zeppelin him as a, fucking... as, a, as a kid, it's like, I was what like, the fucking... fuck is this universe? I was fucking, well, how was I when I... Uh... Dude, I was already like 18, 19, or 17. I don't know. I was sort of the end of the teens Yeah. when I fucking got into Led Zeppelin. And then yeah. I was listening to Wolf Mother and Led Zeppelin. I was like, yeah. I love them both. Unbelievable. I, I, I always say, like, actually, like, out of all the arts, yeah. right, when I think about it for myself, like, the visual arts, yeah, cool, you know, like, I'll get a boner, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, like a, like a baby boner, but then uh, film, okay, yeah, I'm fucking in there, you know, for like an hour and a half, for like two hours, okay, I'll get a boner, <laughs> but, but the biggest boner I get is for fucking music. Yeah, man, that's anytime, all time, every day. Because it's it, it's like, I can play songs now when I was like, I, right I didn't back. know who I was, like my life was fucked up or going through some shit. And I'm like, wow, wow, time machine. And then other times Seriously. I'll listen to some other stuff. I'm like, man, that's like 10 years past that moment. Or, or then like stuff today, I'll just get energy. Like it's it's magical almost, you know, how like, when you're in a slump or like, you know. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Yeah. Dude, wait, I know this is totally like side side note, but like, all right, so on the 4th of July, I was painting in my studio and I watched this. Uh, I heard it before I saw it. So um, this chick was like drunk as shit and she like jumped the curb and tried to avoid like, apparently there was like a skateboard in the street and like she tried to avoid him. Did I see that? I don't know. That's in, I'll send you the photos and videos and shit. But like, and what she happened? jumped the curb, the car flipped, Ooh. and she went through two concrete barriers. What? Yeah. So she went through like this first concrete that. barrier. I'm usually good at my memes, right? <laughs> and the concrete barrier just doesn't exist anymore. She and then she just... slammed into another oh, wall. Oh man! I was surprised she was alive. Like, yeah. Fucking a. Man, I don't. I like don't ran downstairs. Like, 
It's like, I gotta, I gotta put on a shirt and some shoes. <laughs> Fucking what? ran downstairs. Wait, this was like in the neighborhood? This was downstairs. I got... I'll, I'll, I'll Wait, so you saw that. the meme? Bef- and, but, this wasn't a meme. This oh, happened. Did, did, so there's a video that you saw on your phone and then it happened downstairs? No, I wa- I heard oh, it. Oh, you ha- saw it in real life? Real yeah, time. this is real life. Wow. And then, um, like, she was in the car still before the firefighters and the paramedics showed up. And I was like, fuck. Wow. I was... I wasn't, I wasn't expecting the best. And she was actually, she was like, she was like, they still carried her out, but right. like, she was able to like, kind of like crawl yeah. around and like move. Like she so was, she tried she to dodge alive. a car and she got, she got like banged up like yeah. big time. She yeah. got fucked. Nuts. So like, I don't know what her condition is now, but she's alive. And from what I could tell, she could like walk. Wow. Which the fact that she hit, she hit the tree, she hit the building and yeah. she went through like, she went through the first concrete barrier. Yeah, right, yeah. And then she stopped at the second one. So that's I'm like, the nuts. fact that you're fucking breathing right now. Normally is a you're miracle. a JPEG. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, like, game over, bro. Once yeah. you hit a few things, like it's. it's she finished. she skimmed yeah. the tree. Jesus Christ. She like she took out like a whole side of the tree. Jesus. Um, there was like a security guard I talked to downstairs, and he was just for like the uh the building next door, and he's like, yeah. yeah, dude, she was going like a hundred coming down there. I was like, why are you going that fast? Yeah, 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 yeah. She was like drunk as shit. Wow, which actually is probably what saved her life. I mean, then again, if she wasn't shit, maybe she probably yeah, you're right. Actually, yeah, but like she was like loose enough to where she yeah, she yeah. flew it, flew around the fucking right. car. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. Yeah. No one wants to get an Uber right now. <laughs> you know, it's like man, I, I, you know, I'd rather yeah. walk than get into an Uber, maybe. But or is that the case? You know, like if you roll the window down, like. Oh, okay. uh, that was an Uber. She was driving. That, that's what I'm saying. But maybe she drove because oh, of fear yeah, yeah, of being yeah. in an Uber. That makes like sense. I haven't taken like I haven't needed to go anywhere to where I required an Uber. I'll just drive myself. Fair enough. But um, yeah, it's been like a long time since I've uh, employed the services of uh, Uber. I did that once since this all started. Were you sketched out about it? It was a bit weird. Like, don't give me I'll no just... water. Don't talk to me. I, no I'll small just... talk. Just chill, you know. It's like I'm trying to get home. Yeah. I just want to get home. Yeah. <laughs> like, Head out the window. Nope. Yep. It's a one piece. Yeah. One piece. Well, good, man. Windows all down. Quitting. Quitting's on his way with another J. Not this time. Not this time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, man. It, it, was good, uh, it was good to see you. T- tell people where uh, people can find you online. I am at Splinton. Uh, on Instagram, yes, S H P L I N T O N. I'm also at splinton.com and splinton at gmail. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good seeing you. Likewise. By the way, we're both masked up. I mean, I guess you're masked up. I'm, I'm taking the liberty of, uh, <laughs> of the six feet as, as a good. safety precaution. We're chilling. But uh, much love to everybody out there. And thank you, Quentin, for coming out. Peace. Most definitely. Later. <laughs>